All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here, and today we have a absolutely beautiful timepiece from Towson Watch Company out of Maryland. Now, I have to be honest here, I was not familiar with Towson Watch Company. They're a company here, their watches are designed in the United States, assembled in the United States, and they do some really impressive things, and I'm kind of ashamed for myself for not knowing who Towson Watch was, but recently, Chris Marshall over at Marshall Time had these watches on his channel, or this watch on his channel, and asked if I'd like to put it on my channel, and I was elated to have this on here because I think it's a really a spectacular piece and speaks a lot to American watchmakers and what they're doing these days and, and uh, the passion for watchmaking, and these watches truly show that. Now, here on top, I do have some paperwork that came from Towson Watch Company that kind of describes a little bit about what they do. Now, just so you know, all of their pieces are made in 100 only. They're not made in large lots or anything like that, and even at that, you can customize the pieces you're getting from them. There's just a picture of a decorated movement from them. So just gives you an idea, and, and they do a lot of their own decoration of the movements and stuff like that, um, but it's just impressive. These are the two gentlemen that got the um, the company started back in 2020. I do think they met, if I read the paperwork right, they met in an English pub um, in uh, Chesapeake, uh, you know, uh, back east there, and kind of started their watch company, started uh, living their passion, and this is just incredible. All of their pieces, like I said, are very limited numbers. They're not inexpensive watches. They're fairly expensive watches, but just... Really, really impressive timepieces. I'm really excited to get to have uh, this watch on the channel. And I do believe which one we have. We have this one here. We have the Martin M130 here to put on the channel. Um, all the uh, movements are Swiss movements, Swiss made movements, Swiss made parts. So they're very impressive uh, watches, but they are US made. They're not a Swiss made watch. These are actually a US made uh, watch. So let's go ahead and pull this one out of the box and check it out. Oop, there's the paperwork on the top of it for it. And this lets you know here, uh, the House and Watch Company warranty, warranty and instructions on the watch. So, and this this is cool because this shows you a picture of their inspiration. This is the gauge that they used as inspiration. This is off of a dashboard of a, a cockpit clock, but you know, obviously gives you a good idea where they got the idea for the design on the dial of the watch. So, really impressive piece. Let's go ahead and get it here out of the box. These watches come in a really really nice little wooden box here and like I said I was just truly impressed with this piece when I got it in and was able to look at it so go ahead and pull it up here out of the box and take a closer look at it now um, I do believe this is just a standard clasp assembly here so go ahead and open this up and get it off the pillow and set the pillow down and let's take a look at this beautiful beautiful uh, piece from Towson Watch. Now this is, like I said, the Martin M130. The Martin M130 aircraft was a very impressive a water plane, seaplane, that really um, kind of made the world a smaller place with its ability to get, get all over the world, land in, in water. It's just a really impressive plane. And actually here on the back of the watch, they've got a picture of the Martin uh, M130. So that's that's pretty neat. That's a pretty neat setup there. But this is just a really impressive timepiece overall. Now I do need to grab my um, my caliper because I do need to take the specs on this watch for you guys. Give me a second here. It's kind of rare that I, I got so excited to show this one to you guys I actually forgot to measure the case on it. So you've got a 42 millimeter case from side to side. I think it's going to probably come in around 52. 50 lug tip to lug tip which isn't bad. It's going to be a little thick at 14 and a half millimeters of thickness and you have 20 millimeter lug openings on this watch. So that gives you the overall size of the watch. So it's a bigger watch. This is running a Valju 7750 um, you know, chronograph movement, so that is a bigger movement. That's a high beat movement, um, really nice uh, high grade movement from Valju, and used in a lot of chronograph watches out there. But just taking a look at the dial, I don't have to tell you guys this is uh, you know, aircraft inspired, obviously the Martin M130. Um, but just a really, really neat timepiece here overall. You have at the sub-dial here at the 9 o'clock position, that's your running seconds on the watch. This keeps track of your elapsed minutes up here for 30 minutes up at the top. And then you do, because it's an automatic um, mo movement in here, you do have a 12-hour chronograph uh, time here. So you can keep track of up to 12 hours with the chronograph. So that's really nice. Hear that nice, crispy start of that mechanical chronograph there. Nice, smooth sweep of that second hand for the chronograph movement. You also get date functionality. You can see over here at the three o'clock position, but just a beautiful, beautiful timepiece altogether. The finish on the watch is very nice. You have brushed case sides on this watch. You have a nice polished bezel, and you do have a pretty nice little um, polishing on the top of the lugs here done also. The crown is signed with the Towson logo there, and I like this little hint of red here on the top pusher. Go ahead and get that chronograph stopped and get it reset. You can see the nice snap back of that. Nice uh, full grain leather strap is being used on this watch. 
Very nice overall design. I love the crown on the watch. Nice big pilot style crown on the watch. Nothing too fancy going on here on the buckle. No signature or anything like that, but polished. Flip it over again, show you guys the case back on the watch. Towson Watch Company, it gives you the latitude, longitude, and I, I think that might be their location. I did not look that up, but that's kind of neat. Always like Latin long on stuff. It just looks cool. Reference number for the wash there. These are, I think, like 50 meters water resistant, but nothing you're going to want to take in the water. And you get that cool USA logo there. But very, very impressive timepieces. Like I said, these are really, really limited timepieces. And if you, you have a Talisman watch, you can realize that you're probably, with the different designs, I think I read in the paperwork, you're probably one of about 12 people to have that exact watch out there with the limited designs that they have. So that's pretty impressive, especially at the price point. I think this one runs about $4,200, which sounds expensive, but for really what you're getting in this watch, that's not too bad at all, really. It's a U.S. built, a U.S. designed, U.S. manufactured watch. And it's really put together well, top grade parts, everything about it is nice. And again, knowing that you're probably like one of 12 people that have one of these watches, that's pretty impressive. So let's pause it, get this watch on my seven inch wrist, and then definitely stick around because this one has some pretty good loom on it. All right, so here's how the watch sits on my seven inch wrist. Super comfortable, absolutely beautiful watch. I do know that they said in the paperwork that this, this Valju comes to them, but they do some decoration on it. Now, being that it has a solid case back, you can't see that. But looking at the work they do on some of their other movements and stuff, that's probably pretty impressively done. Um, again, very limited pieces you get from uh, Towson Watch out of Towson, Maryland. And I think really, really neat time pieces you get here. So let's dim the lights and look at the loom on this one. All right, so it's a pilot's watch. So, you know, you expect to be in a dark cockpit and you want to have a watch with loom, good loom on it. I'm sure this is going to be a, a high-grade Swiss uh, Super Luminova but definitely glows nicely and is what you want to see, you know, on a pilot's watch like that. I love the handset on this watch. You know, I don't even know what to call them. Um, almost like a cathedral style handset on the watch, but definitely inspired by aviation design and by aviation instruments. That's really where this handset and this dial layout come from. So very cool watch from Towson Watch, guys. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.